Hey guys, I'm Anand, your tech guide from Tech Store, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the latest HP 15 entry level DB series of laptops. Now, these are AMD Ryzen 3 or Ryzen 5 series of laptops, even some variants of AMD Athlons are there. So, if it is a DB series that is mentioned in the series, then you can apply this particular video. After watching this video, you'll be able to put a M.2 NVMe SSD, you can put a hard drive caddy, you can replace the existing hard drive with a SSD. You can replace the RAM or you can upgrade the RAM up to 32 GB and a lot more. Also, you can replace the battery of your laptop. Irrespective uh, whether it is a black or a silver variant, whether it is a DB1069 or 1059, this same process will apply. So, let's do it. The top panel here is having a metallic matte finish, a silver metallic matte finish looks very premium for an entry level laptop, looks very neat, the silver variant. As soon as you open, uh, you will see a full HD non IPS screen and it does not have a nano bezel and the webcam is there. The keyboard quality is very good, uh, nice uh, squarish keys and good size of the key and the key travel also is very very good. The touchpad here is a rectangular touchpad with uh, separated uh, left and right clicks and it has got a very nice uh, brushed metal finish inside the speakers are front firing over here on the left uh, you have the dc jack and uh, charging pin indicator you have ethernet you have hdmi you have two usb 3.0 ports and you have a headphone mic combi the profile is a little thicker than the normal entry level 15 s series of laptops now this is a hp 15 laptop series which is not as slim as the 15s in the front uh, no ios whatsoever on the right you have a hard drive indicator and a power indicator a memory card reader and a usb 2.0 and a dvd writer now that's a very welcome thing for uh, people who have a lot of dvds to read and then you have a kensington lock now once you flip uh, you will see a very minimalistic area given here for the motherboard heat to be dissipated this could have been bigger here and a very clutter free design, two rudders holding on to some screws. We will show you how to upgrade the entire laptop. Nice rounded finish all through. Now this is the actual video shot from the webcam of the HP 15 DB series of laptops. And as you can see the video and audio quality is very good. And uh, there is no distortion whatsoever. For an entry level laptop the camera quality has been uh, very good indeed. So a big thumbs up on the camera for HP on this particular laptop. So let's check out the speakers of the HP 15 DB series of laptops. The speaker is quite good uh, for the entry level price point. Uh, the speakers integrated onto this HP laptop are uh, pretty crisp. Uh, not very loud but not tinny and uh, they do not have a lot of bass also but uh, very pleasant to hear. So good thumbs up on the speakers for this particular series. Now let's check uh, if the laptop opens with uh, one hand operation uh, which will ensure that the laptop uh, stability is good and the hinges are uh, nice. So let's do it. Yes, it opens pretty nice with a single hand operation, no stutter whatsoever on the base. The hinges are pretty tight and hold nicely here. But we uh, request you to get the hinges loosened uh, once you have used it for one, one and a half years. Uh, reach out to your uh, nearest professional HP service center and get this uh, hinges loosened. Otherwise, you might have issue with the display frame uh, breaking off or the touchpad uh, breaking off. Okay. 
first thing first uh, we need to flip the laptop and need to remove all the screws uh, that you are seeing as well as the screws that are hidden below the rudders here take a blade like this and you need to ensure that the rudder comes out along with the adhesive tape that is holding on to it Now for people who just want to remove the DVD writer and put a HDD caddy, they just need to remove this one screw over here and uh, need to pull out the DVD like this and the DVD writer will be off. You need to remove this one screw over here and take a 9.5 mm caddy. You can put this particular uh, holder here onto this part here and uh, put a hard drive onto this. We have a detailed video about how to do this in uh, our channel just search through it now we will remove all the remaining screws the hinges screws first now once all the screws have been removed flip the laptop and uh, you just need to take a prior like this you just need to start prying on the sides This here is the hard drive, this is the battery, this is the RAM bay area and you have the M.2 NVMe SSD slot over here, processor fan, Wi-Fi chip, literally everything is visible once you open the base here. So let's start with the battery first, for which you need to remove these screws, pull out the battery. So if you want to replace the battery, take a similar battery, it is a HT03 XL battery. 40.04 watt hours 11.34 volts this is the wattage reading of this particular laptop battery so just take a similar battery and you can replace for people who want to replace the battery so to remove the hard drive you need to remove these two screws and then you need to pull out this frame over here you'll find some resistance over here do not worry just remove it like this and uh, the frame is out here now take the hard drive it's a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive you can take a similar SATA hard drive or SATA SSD also and you can install up to 2 terabyte hard drive can be installed on this particular laptop. Now coming to the part with the RAM is uh, it has got two DIMM slots so you can upgrade maximum up to 32 GB that is 16 GB plus 16 GB 32 GB in total. So this natively comes with 4 GB or 8 GB. So if it is an 8 GB then uh, it will only be one strip. Over here we have upgraded already for the customer. So if you want to replace uh, the RAM, just need to remove using these two notches here and the RAM will come out. You can take a 4 GB, 8 GB or a 16 GB DDR4 low voltage 3200 megahertz RAM very specifically. This is the voltage specification as it is an AMD Ryzen based laptops. All of them require a 3200 megahertz uh, laptop RAM only. So just take a similar RAM and uh, insert it like this these laptops don't come pre-installed with uh, ssd you can take a m.2 nvme ssd like this you can take up to one terabyte ssd m.2 nvme and uh, install into this particular laptop so there is a screw already which is there over here just need to remove the screw fit the ssd like this now to remove the processor fan you need to remove this one screw over here and the processor fan connector and the fan will be off these are the speakers 1 and 2 and uh, this is the Wi-Fi chip just need to remove uh, this one screw over here this particular one screw and the Wi-Fi chip can be replaced. This here is a keyboard connector cable this is the touchpad cable this is the display cable so if you have an issue with the display cable just remove it once and again reinsert it. This is the DC jack you need to remove these hinges if you want to get access to this particular uh, area here and uh, remove the speaker as well as the DC jack. There is no CMOS cell over here on this laptop as soon as you remove the battery and fit it fit a new battery the CMOS clock will be reset. Alright so let's start putting it back. See to it that the entire flower bracket has fitted appropriately and uh, there are no gaps whatsoever. This 
my friends was a video showing you the disassembly as well as the review of the HP 15 DB series of laptops and uh, this is one of the few laptops in which you can put actually three storage devices one existing hard drive you can put m.2 nvme ssd and you can remove the dvd writer and put a hard drive caddy so this is a unique feature of this particular laptop and it also has a dvd writer so if you remove the dvd writer you can put a hard drive caddy any one of the two these are amd ryzen 3 based laptops uh, entry level laptops comes with 4 gb or 8 gb does not come with ssd pre-installed the camera quality is good the speakers are also good the screen quality is full hd but non ips for the db 1059 au it will have a full hd for 1069 it is having a normal hd the keyboard quality is very good uh, the metallic finish given in the silver variant is very good the black variant looks almost the same but uh, does not have this metallic finish so all in all a very good entry level laptop by hp you need to upgrade the ram to 8 gb at least and put a ssd to get the optimal performance Thank you so much for watching guys, uh, do let us know your suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us.